Hi, my name is Rotash, and today we will discuss about K3S. K3S is provided by the Ranger. It's a lightweight Kubernetes cluster that is great for your CI, IoT, and A's. And at last, this line makes a lot of sense for us. It's not feasible for production use, but you think like if you having one production server, but before that you want to do some POC or do you want to test, then this is ideal for you. Like if you want to run your Jenkins and the whole uh, the CI things you want to do on your port. So that time the K3S is you can say the great for that. So what is the lightweight? Lightweight means that whatever control panel are coming for Kubernetes cluster, that is whatever available in K3S is much lightweighted as compared to other provider. So here, what is in it? Like for a Kubernetes, we require a container runtime. So in case of K3S, the container D fulfillment that requirement. After that, it will provide us that networking uh, CNI that is here we are having panel uh, for DNS we are having core DNS so I'm going to show you demo like how we can set up a full fledged Kubernetes cluster in five minutes so what we are doing here I did something before that like I uh, make a vagrant VM I use this vagrant file I'll put into the description so you can go ahead and do it yourself for a fresh VM like it's a vagrant only I fetch image from uh, sent over seven so i need to install these two dependency and after that i install that kubelet and uh, i will uh, showing you in the same thing demo also like i have to install this this part it present i'm having a one vm ready with that uh, you can say that a vm is up and i put that both utility now i'm going to install uh, our third utility like uh, so you can understood like what is k3s it's a very lightweight so now i'm going to install it so you can say here, uh, I'm going to log in on the Vagrant machine. Just a second, Vagrant. Mm -hmm. Vagrant as such. So I'm having the name of uh, default, that VM. So I enter into the VM. So here I don't have anything and I don't have Docker running on it. So you can think that how much it lightweighted. So I don't have anything it. So first of all, I'm going to install the kubectl here. So it's saying that, okay, I should be root. I doing into the vagrant. So I installed the kubectl on it. That is the utility that's required to send that API request to a Kubernetes. Now I got, so it present I got the cube CTL, but that you can see that my Kubernetes cluster is not set up. So now I'm going to set up a Kubernetes cluster. And as per the docs, is saying that it will take less than 30 seconds. So let's see how much it will take. So this is that I'm using method to install K3S. Why I'm using this method? Like there's a lot of option. Like you can do the quick start. I'm doing the quick start one, but if you don't have restriction that your curl is not working, you are on the internet, then you can do that manual installation. I check it. It's a 60, uh, 54 MB eight percent and the latest one. Then after that, you have done this command and after that, that's it. Your Kubernetes cluster is done. So, but I'm having option for internet. So I'm using that uh, easiest method that is, you can say that quick start one. Now I did it. So as per doc is saying 30 seconds, maybe I don't have that much internet fast. So it installing. So let's see how much time it will take. Uh, it's install. It's uh, now doing the things like it's enabling K3S unit, like it's, it's created your service and it started K3S. Now still kubectl get pod. So it's saying that still, uh, you can say that uh, my kube config file is not set. But as per document, you can see here, uh, it set up the Q3 file. It's saying that uh, as per docs, uh, I'll show you here. As per doc is saying that it's going to create uh, the cube config file here in this location. So as you know that kubectl require that file into uh, uh, which user it's running, uh, we, from which user we are running their home directory, we require .q file and after that we require config file because uh, kubectl is normal behavior. 
that take file from that particular location but of course you can make it uh, explicit to provide that path but as per this demo i'm just doing it i'm creating this directory uh, because kubectl looking for this location i created this directory and i'm going to create this file and here done so now i'm going to run it kubectl get port perfect so i should run that notes see i think it will take less than five minutes to me set up a kubernetes cluster that's great perfect now we will test how much time it will take to build up a port of course it will kubectl run nginx hyphen hyphen image is equal to ngni image and hyphen hyphen i make it port start i make it port hyphen uh, ev so my port is created let's fast kubectl get port it's container creating put hyphen w i think for watch let's see how much time it will take to run a kubernetes cluster a port on this cluster perfect it will take totally 15 seconds to build up a nginx port perfect this us of kubectl get port it's done let's create a service kubectl expose expose port nginx hyphen hyphen port is equal to 80 this i'm going to expose that uh target port is equal to 80 hyphen hyphen type i'm going to do it not port so we can check it so this is the command that is the command to expose uh, you can create a service so i expose it on a service cube ctl get svc it running on my port curl check that because i created that uh, node port so local host and it's running on this port maybe copy paste yeah working copy paste is working so i ran it and uh, let's see but hopefully maybe it's a local setup so how it behave but uh, the response is going on on this location so hopefully the everything is working fine here let's wait for if it's giving that or not response but we are not for that because our port is open or not i'm not sure but it's okay like it's it's working fine for us and it took almost less than five minutes to us it should give actually i don't know it's ping local host is working or not at least this is pinging that that's good call local host Local C U R L call L O C local host C U R L maybe I'm fast here perfect local host four zero four oh perfect it means that it created ingress also like P uh, I can show you cube CTL get uh you can say that it created ingress controllers cube CTL get port hyphen hyphen and in cube sys system not hyphen hyphen i created hyphen hyphen that's not oh my god it's it's geared to ingress like it's it's in, install that traffic that one of the popular ingress controller and uh, that that's why i'm getting the curl is 400 because it's 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 giving me 404 because nothing is running on this port so it means it set up the ingress also for us perfect so we can see here it having that uh uh, this this control panel and it's quite light and it's quite fast it uh, set up that four minute nine a second so it means still five minutes is not over perfect one perfect curl is not working maybe on this port but that's okay that's uh, not our intention to show you that that now service is exposed and port is working and it's giving us help let's check that storage class kubectl get sc perfect it giving us that local local path and i think it's a read write uh, read write only read write once only it's not read write many so uh, we reached on it that k3s provide us that capability of full flesh kubernetes cluster it's not feasible for production but it's great for 
CIE, IoT, and Edge. It having that ingress controller in it. It having the storage class. It is work perfectly and quite fast. We doesn't require Docker because again, Docker is high. Uh, you can say that. Uh, see, we doesn't require Docker. Perfect, perfect. It's it's good one actually. And what else we set up Kubernetes cluster? I'll put these all these thing on description. We can read about something more. Uh, perfect. Uh, I can go here on the range of what it's saying that. Yeah, perfect, perfect. How it working? That we already shown that. We already started perfect. That's good one actually. Uh, I think we should uh, stop this session here itself. I don't think so. Anything left? It's quite good. Uh, if we see here, uh, good, good, good. You can check here docs also. What it's saying? Yeah, it's saying the same. It giving us Helm also. It networking. It giving final uh, by default. But if you want to change, you can change it as per the flag. Like it's giving by default to you can. Uh, container D as a uh, container runtime, but if you want to change it, you can change it to Docker. Perfect, 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 perfect. Uh, I think it's done. Okay, bye. So I'm going to end this uh, session here itself. So that's good one actually.